Hey, good morning and welcome to another video. Andrew here with Camper Kingdom in Meridian and I uh, want to give you guys a little bit of a situational update. That Forest River Vibe 31 ML that was right there, it's gone. So once again, if you see something on our website that you like, don't wait around. Because the campers you see here today, possibility is going to be in someone's yard tomorrow morning. So give us a call. Check us out on the web for all of our current inventory. But right now we're going to head down this way here. Just got in a new 2021 Forest River Wildwood x Light model. So let's take a look. And here it is, the new Forest River Wildwood Model 28 VBXL. The unit comes in at around 33 feet total in length, right at 6,000 pounds, making it perfect for those half-ton tow of trucks. Mini fridge here on the outside. This is absolutely great in my opinion. You might not use the outdoor kitchen as much, but if you have the fridge, it keeps all that dirt from being tracked in and out. Step above steps, those do flip up and inside the door. The legs on these are fully adjustable so they do touch the ground making it that much more sturdy quick shot of your pass-through storage electric jacks in the front and the rear back there in the back solar prep here on the front electric tongue jack as well this unit is a 50 amp unit with two air conditioning units now, I'm a little bit of a neat freak and this is kind of awesome to me how they've got these nicely organized here on one side keeping them out of the way I don't like having to wrap them around up here in the tongue. Let's take a look inside. And here inside the Wildwood, you notice this year that Wildwood has in fact done away with the carpet inside the light model, which unlike its sister unit, the 29V Bud, which has a little bit of carpet throughout. Some people like it, some people don't. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you all the different storage containers. You're looking around 20 cubic feet of plastic storage bins underneath the booth and the seating arrangement here. You'll notice, too, that this year the x Light model is coming with the full Versa Lounge. So this can be arranged into different seating configurations. Stick around at the end of the video and you'll actually get a look at that as well. Coming around here to the kitchen area, you got a 10.7 cubic foot 12-volt fridge. 3 eye burner and seamless countertops throughout the entire coach, even on the table and the bathroom. Drop-in sink that is plastic. You know, you still have the uh, this little hot pan deal here. 31-inch electric fireplace. You know, everybody doesn't camp in the winter, but having that additional heat is still rather nice. All of your satellite and TV connections, which can pass straight up through here for a TV that could be mounted there. If you want one, we can, in fact, provide that as well. Coming back here into the bunkhouse area, this could be called a quad bunk. you got your second independent air conditioner here. All of your knob controls are on the roof. So, once again, closer to the end, I'll show you the sleeping configuration, but this lays flat, and you got a bunk on the top on both sides. USB chargers, 110 outlet right here next to the bed as well. Show you some of the storage circuit breaker for the coach so if you ever have a trip to breaker that's where it's going to be at tv connections there's uh connections there so the tv could be placed there but it'd be rather small if the bunk from the top is laid down but i will show you what that sleeping configuration looks like later going into the bathroom wildwood has done away with most of the tubs this year going into the full-size stand and shower but you know some people say well it's a bunkhouse shouldn't shouldn't you have a tub Mm, well, a lot of people do, don't really come in here just to lounge. You come in to get in and get out. Plastic foot flush toilet again, going into the holding tanks. This year, you've noticed that uh, all of your heating is not ducted throughout the coach. It is, in fact, a cabinet heating source this year, which is it blows out this way, and there's a pipe that will run around to the bunk area. Coming out back this way as well. Totally different system. Heading up into the master bedroom, you do, in fact, still have the camper queen, but they're giving you just a little bit more room, so, because they do understand that a lot of people will upgrade these mattresses to a residential type, so they give you a little bit of extra room here so you can get that mattress in there. One thing to point out, you notice there is the cutout on both sides. Inside of this little cubby here, there is, in fact, a... 110 outlet for your CPAP machine if you do happen to have one of those so that is quite nice 
have a little access there. Loads of storage underneath, and I'm gonna do this on video, mm -hmm. showing you how easy this is. Fully hydraulic lift, little bitty nice containers there for storage. Get your blankets and stuff underneath there. If you like what you see, go ahead and lightly tap that like button down below. Give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, tell us things that you would like to see more of. I do feed off of your comments. Tell me things I can improve on. We greatly appreciate it. This time I'm gonna see if I can give you guys a quick walk around of the sleeping arrangement. And now you notice the backrest is gone, which gives you room now to slide from one end to the other. You know, sometimes you may mean, maybe you just don't need that backrest, you just want more room. Like me, my kids are tall, so they need more leg room. That right there would just be nice. So there's that. So now here it is in this normal configuration with the jackknife sofa. Your booth is now turned into the U-shaped booth, which is your pretty normal standard booth, really. So that's another setup. The back's completely removable like I showed you. So now let me show you where this whole thing is turned into one giant bed. Now you got it in the full sleeping configuration. And man, talking about sleeping room. My kids are big. You know, they're just about full-size grown adults now. So this is pretty much, you know, adult guest friendly, bigger kid friendly. And you got get, you know, kids that are six foot three, six foot four, you need room. So there's another one. And lastly, here are those containers that I was talking to you about. 20 cubic feet of storage space in this in the master slide here itself. You know, five total different containers. Really nice. Really glad to see that they started putting these in here. And I almost forgot to show you the sleeping arrangement back here in the bunk with everything let down. Sleeping room for two, four, maybe five people, just really depending on your guest size again. So once again, lightly tap that like button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know where I can do better. Check us out on the web at camperkingdom.com and continue to subscribe to find more great content for every RV that we have coming in. Come see us.